Alright, this is going to be a video for the basic setup of UDK uh, for Unreal Scripting. So the first thing you need to do is get Infringe from the uh, Infringe website. I just go to the main website and down at the bottom they have download link if you just click that. And then just download and install this right here. Once you've downloaded and installed it, you need to open up Visual Studio and go to New Project, check Unreal Script, I'm going to call this Screencast, and then you want to browse for the directory. Just go to your C drive, go to the UDK folder, this folder, then inside of Development SRC, select that folder, and then uh, Go ahead and press OK. So since I already set it up, I, you don't see it, but down here in the bottom right you'll get a notification asking you to uh, set up your license for Infringe. So just set that up as a student or whatever you choose. Then inside of the Solution Explorer, right click on screen on your project and go to Properties. Change this to Unreal 3 Mod. Uh, click that browse button and inside of the UDK folder inside of the binaries go to Win 62 or 32 bit whichever you choose and then go to UDK.exe open that it'll show up here and then go to your the next source folder for references source path, source path. go inside of the UDK folder inside of development SRC and select that folder. You'll see it here. So now go to debug, choose the browse button, go to UDK, and inside of the binaries you're going to choose the same exact UDK.exe file that you chose before. I'll show you how to load a map in a minute. But first we're going to save this and close out of a of uh, Visual Studio, reopen Visual Studio, and open up, I called mine Screencast, open it up again and you'll see that now you have all the references here on the right. So if we were to open up UDK, here's the basic uh, level that you start off with. Just file, save that one, I'm going to save it as test.udk. You won't see a file there, but you just save it as test. Now back inside of here we can say load map at start startup and you can change that to test.udk. Save this, build it, and you can run it. And you'll see that it'll open up Unreal. It'll go past the splash screen and there you go. The basic startup level for uh, UDK and it's ready to go off of your the file that you chose. So that's your basic setup to get Visual Studio started with uh, for so that you can start your Unreal scripting.